Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host, Ben, and behind me is the inflation rate from the Federal Reserve charted out. Right here beside my face, you can see this 2021, and then we go into January for 2022. So from here, 1.40 at the beginning of this year, 2022, to now in May, we are at 8.5% inflation. But that's if you believe the Federal Reserve reporting. This, my friends, is shadow government statistics. If you've been following me for a while, I've been saying that the CPI that the Federal Reserve uses was changed about 1990, somewhere in there. The way they changed it made it to where the inflation rate does not calculate certain statistics anymore, causing inflation that's being reported to all of us by mainstream media and the Federal Reserves themselves to be a lot lower. So the economy doesn't seem as bad. Shadow Government Statistics is a website that you can come and check out for free or you can join them they have a paid subscription service they are in no way an affiliate a partner or anything but i just ran across this and i wanted to check it out and see if they were actually getting this correct link to shadowstats.com is in the description but what i most want to look at right here is on alternate data and we're going to go into inflation. The CPI chart on the home page reflects our estimate of inflation for today as if it were calculated the same way it was in 1990. The CPI on the alternate data series tab here reflects the CPI as if it was calculated using the methodologies in place in 1980. In general terms, methodological shifts in government reporting have depressed reported inflation moving the concept of CPI away from being a measure of cost of living needed to maintain a constant standard of living. That's why the wealth gap that a lot of people on all sides of the aisles have talked about and blamed a lot of different things for, that's where it's come from. The Federal Reserve and the government not reporting the correct inflation. So as prices rise, and the wages have not risen, that is because the Federal Reserve has said inflation has not been that bad. There's no reason to raise wages, right? If they are showing everybody, all these companies and businesses hiring everybody, that the data of inflation is actually lower than it is, then of course wages are going to stagnate. So they even went further to provide a definition in their CPI glossary. The Consumer Price Index is the broadest inflation measure published by the U.S. government through Bureau of Labor Statistics, Department of Labor. The CPIU, Consumer Price Index for All Urban Consumers, is the monthly headline inflation number seasonally adjusted and is the broadest in its coverage representing the buying patterns of all urban consumers. Its standard measure is not seasonally adjusted and is never revised on that basis except for outright errors. Never revised. The CPIW, CPI for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, covers more narrow universe of urban wage earners and clerical workers and is used in determining the cost of living adjustments in government programs such as Social Security. Otherwise, its background is the same as the CPIU that is never revised on the basis except for outright errors. The CPIU, Chain Weighted CPIU, is an experimental measure where the weighting of components is fully substitution based. It generally shows lower in annual inflation rate then the CPIU and the CPIW, the latter two measures once had fixed weightings so as to measure cost of living of maintaining a constant standard of living, but now are quasi-substitution based. Since it's fully substitution based, the series tends to reflect lower inflation than other CPI and measures. Accordingly, the CCPIU is the new inflation measure 
being proffered by Congress and the White House as a tool for reducing Social Security cost living adjustments by stealth. Moving to accommodate the Congress, the BLS announced pending changes to the CPIU estimation and reporting process on October 22, 2014, which you can read on right here about that in the commentary number 668. So they have everything backed with other links to continue down this wormhole if you want to learn what is really going on with your U.S. dollar at the moment. Of course, if you subscribe to the channel here, you will always hear me going on rants and cussing at the Federal Reserve and government for all this stuff that they do. So the Shadow Stats alternative CPIU measures our attempts at adjusting reported CPIU inflation for the impact change of recent decades designed to move the concept of CPI away from being a measure of the cost of living needed to maintain a constant standard of living. So the shadow stats CPUI tries to calculate the way the CPUI, the CPI was calculated before these changes. You can see the official CPIU here is the red line which shows about 8.5%, which is what they're showing on TradingView. The yellow is the experimental CCPI, which is down here with the official. And then here is the shadow stats alternative 1990 base, the blue line. And you can see, instead of running around 2% since 2000, like Jerome Powell has been saying they want to keep it at, that actually is around 6% on the way they used to measure the CPI before they were trying to hide all the inflation. The U.S. inflation rate, according to these calculations, is well above 10%. Well above. And we can go on down here, the consumer inflation official versus shadow stats. So the shadow stats, based on the 1980 CPI, is actually over 15%, so 16% inflation, which I've been saying more than likely the real inflation numbers are probably double. Here it is on the charts, the way it used to be done by the Federal Reserve themselves being calculated out with the new way that they do it. So check out Shadow Stats if you want to learn more. Of course, I'm always covering this type of content in here soon, both H&H &H Trader partner channel you can go check that out link in the description are going to be covering a whole span of craziness that we are uncovering the more and more we research into the financial markets and economies buckle up guys the ride is just getting started appreciate everybody joining me as always stay safe out there Till next time. This is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Living in a time where disease is on every screen. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally.